17 News is your local election headquarters. And with the primary election results in Kern County and the two candidates in every district moving on to compete in November now finalized, we continue to sit down with the people you will see on your ballot. Well, we had a closer look on the 16th Senate candidate, David Shepard, and now 17's Maddie Gannon joins us in studio with more on Melissa Hurtado. Maddie. Christian Jim, in the primary, Democratic incumbent Melissa Hurtado raised far more money than any other candidate in the PAC's 16th Senate race, bringing in over $300,000 this election cycle and getting support from the highest ranking member of California's State Senate, pro tem Tony Atkins. And the 16th Senate district includes Kern, Kings, Tulare, and Fresno counties. Latinos make up 58% of the population. Democrats outregister Republicans by about 12%. Still in the primary, Republican David Shepard came out on top with 45% of the vote. Hurtado secured second place and her place in the race in November against Shepard with 31% of the vote. The daughter of immigrants from Mexico, raised in the Fresno city of Sanger. Melissa Hurtado says she has a heart that bleeds for the Central Valley. Well, some say that I'm, a Joe Man I'm the female version of Joe Manton, and I like to say, no, I'm just, I'm just a girl from the Valley. The 34-year-old may shrug off comparisons to the notoriously moderate Democrat U.S. Senator, but Hurtado still considers working across the aisle and occasionally crossing it, a pillar of her time in public office, starting with her first role in government when she was elected to Sanger City Council in 2016. Only woman, I was the youngest one. I had to work with, with you know, four men, and I, I you know, very proud of, of that working relationship that I established, established with each one, it was a bipartisan effort. In 2018, Hurtado went on to run for the Valley's 14th Senate seat, beating Republican incumbent Andy Vidak. Andy Vidak. And becoming the youngest woman ever elected to California's state Senate at 30. But I felt that at that moment, and I still feel that way at times, to be honest with you, is that the Valley is, 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 is often um, not heard. Now, rounding out her first term in office, Hurtado is seeking re-election. amount of support that I've heard. She first launched a bid for the 14th district, which included Sanger, and after redistricting, pitted her against another Democratic incumbent before switching to the 16th, saying it was hard to choose between her hometown and the district that included most of the area she represents now. When you look at the issues that I've been working on, um, all things oil and protecting jobs here, I've been working on making sure that moms are, are protected from, you know, doctors that could harm them. Those are issues that are specific to Bakersfield. So Hurtado. Hurtado says she's proud of the work she's done on water during her first four years in Sacramento, pointing to her efforts getting funding to repair the Friant Kern Canal. I want to solve problems. That's why I went to Sacramento. And if I can't solve them or if I'm not effective, then, then, I, then I shouldn't be there. But I feel like I have been effective. If reelected, she wants to continue her work on water and health care. On our website, KGT.com, you'll find a closer look at Hurtado's opponent, David Shepard, as well as profiles on all of the other candidates that will be on your ballot this November here in Kern. In studio, Maddie Gannon, 17 News.